New keyboards. Jeff, what do we have here? All right, so here we have the K95 and the K70, brand new keyboards from Corsair. Um, upgraded versions of the previous ones that we released a while ago. Uh, they do use the same cherry red switches on both keyboards. Uh, you can see the colors are the first thing that you'll notice is new. Uh, you've got the black aluminum with the white backlights on the K95 and the K70 is black aluminum uh, with red backlighting. This one actually has an alternative color uh, with the classic silver uh, aluminum with blue backlighting as well so you can pick between that. Uh, some of the other features um, on the previous keyboards that we had, the function buttons were rubber dome. Um, those are all now replaced with cherry red. So the keyboard is 100% uh, cherry red mechanical switches. Uh, and that goes for the K95 as well on all the macro keys here. If I can pull one off. Okay, Jason showed up to tell us about an interesting switch on the back. What does this do? Okay, this switch allows you to tweak the keyboard between the BIOS mode and then 1, 2, 4, and 8. And the 1, 2, and 4, 8 symbol the refresh rate. So you'll be able to set it 1,000, 500, 250, or 125. And then also you can go into BIOS mode. So if your motherboard doesn't support a gaming keyboard, you'll still have access to do all your settings in BIOS. Oh, okay, so that'll help it be detected. Now, why would someone want to change the refresh rate on a keyboard? Uh, it's just, a lot of people prefer a thousand. It will just give you the best um, reaction time and make sure that every key keystroke that you press will instantly be recognized. Most people will use a thousand, but some people, um, you know, prefer different settings. Just giving them options, right? Just giving them options. And some people that have a older system and they don't want to take as much system resources up may turn down the pulling rate slightly. Yeah. yeah, and then when you go to the BIOS mode, it will give you compatibility with some popular KVM switches out there. So not only working with motherboards, but also KVM switches. So just, uh, again, that added flexibility to be able to operate the keyboard in any kind of environment. The other uh, improvement that we've made here is there's actually a way to individually program how you have the keyboard light up. So um, you don't even need any software. Just hold down the button here for a couple seconds. So here you go. So you can, uh, if you have, here's your typical kind of. That's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So you got your typical FPS keys lit up here. I mean, you can customize this. It requires no software uh, using all the hardware buttons on the keyboard and you've got multiple brightness levels, uh, just like the previous keyboards. Um, everything else is pretty much uh, brought over from the other keyboards. You've got your Windows lock key, so when you hit Windows in a game, it, it, it is disabled, it won't crash into your desktop. Um, nice solid volume roller with your mute button and all your media keys over there on the top right. So the K70 has the same individually programmable backlit keys as well. Uh, one difference between the K70 and the K95 are these textured WASD and one through six keys. So you're, you're, this, this is more of an FPS centric keyboard while the other one is more for uh, RTS games, MMOs, uh, games where you would want to use the macro keys. Uh, the K70 does come with the standard uh, black keys as well. So you can pick whether you want the textured and contoured uh, WASD keys and FPS keys here, or if you would just want the regular ones. So this is uh, what we call reactive typing mode. So by hitting a combination of keys, which is control and the program button, that will set up reactive typing. So whenever you press a key and release it, it will light up. Now, what kind of materials do we have uh, going into this? Like, what is, what's the frame made out of? Made out so of the everything? frame is 100% uh, brushed aluminum. Um, actually, the black ones are anodized. Um, but it's very solid keyboard. I mean, this is this is a keyboard that if you drop it, it's not going to break. I mean, you might get a key pop off if you drop it hard enough, but uh, you can put it right back together. So you got the back, pretty standard label here. You've got the feet that are extendable here, mm -hmm. and on the bottom, this this uh, wrist guard is or, or wrist pad is removable. And you can also, if you've seen the old uh, K60, it had a smaller, uh, just kind of a gaming wrist pad, and you have compatibility with that on the long uh, keyboards oh, here. Cool. So you got the K60. Working with this. Yeah, yeah. So oh. you can use the old uh, wrist pad if you like that. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. You've got the screws on there to secure it mm -hmm. firmly and uh, just snaps right in. This is the back of the K70. What do we have going on back here? So on the back of the K70, you've got some extra feet to change the height of your keyboard. Uh, also, you have the removable wrist rest here, which snaps right off. And you can also support the older uh, K60 style short uh, wrist rest as well. K95 supports three profiles. It's all stored internally in the hardware, so you can have 
uh, setups programmed for three different games or three different uh, uses. That includes the LED individually backlight keys that are programmed for each profile, as well as what your G keys do. So all your macro Pretty keys. much everything that goes exactly. on with the keyboard can have three yep. totally separate configurations. It all gets and you have the three hardware buttons here to easily select it. No software uh, necessary to switch between them. Very cool. So the K70 only supports a single profile. All right, so uh, Jeff, when is this available? So both these keyboards will be available in May. Well, now, do you guys ever leave secret messages to one another on this? Uh, <laughs> not, not yet, not yet. Um, that's not a bad idea, though. I, we have... Uh, your girlfriend, you know, you can, like, she could wake up and have yeah, a yeah. secret message. <laughs> we have done some key switching on some of the keyboards to, to mess with some people, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I this idea for a joke, a little Easter egg where it will flash a message if you can do something. That would that'd be kind of cool, too. I don't think we did that. Should probably put that yeah. in the firmware, you know, like, <laughs> or have it set up to so that it, you know, make sure that it reads the date from, from Windows, yeah. on certain days it'll say things to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my keyboard is possessed. Well, we know if no one did it. We haven't yeah. got it yet. You're going to have to, the people will be calling tech support. My keyboard is uh, possessed by the devil. <laughs>